all right good afternoon today is December 2nd 2021 on a Thursday and welcome back to D space for space you before I go any further I'd like to tell you why my channel is named that my name begins with a D and the four is symbolic of all of my mom's kids and the U is just a modern day texting style for you. Um, the spaces in between are because when I came up with the name for my channel, I thought that I was going to be the only D for you. <laughs> I was going to be the only D for you, babe. But anyway, I learned that that's not so. <laughs> There's so many D for you. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just put spaces in between. So I guess you can say the spaces are, okay, let's see. D, that's me. Space for you to have time alone with God. The number four all of my mom's kids the other space is for you to <laughs> break away and take a load off from the rest of the world and you <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna let you decide do you want it to be for you do you want it to be for undeniable do you want it to be for uh, I don't know. Ungrateful? I don't know. Unsatisfied? I don't know. But I'll let you decide what that you is going to be for. But in my heart, it's for you. You who come across this channel. Anyway, real quick, I'm on my way to pick up my daughter. And I would like to say that the Lord put it on my heart the other day a message to come and share with with the world and the message is when somebody does something or something happens to trigger unrighteous anger in your heart so much so that you verbalize it that is of the enemy he will then had tripped you up and used whatever it was that struck that anger in you to distract you apart from God's will I'm saying that because the other day something happened to me and I don't know it looked like I was expecting okay have you ever experienced somebody being mean to you and then you are nice to them but inside you're hoping that it will cause them to be nice to you after that well I came across a situation like that and um, don't mind this this is don't just don't even look at that it's a little bit getting on my nerves too so if it's rocking your nerves trust it's rocking mine more anywho 
So I was expecting that since I decided that I was going to say something nice, that of course it's going to calm them down and then they're going to say something nice and it's going to bring that peace back that was there. Well, that didn't happen like that. And because it didn't happen, ooh, I was just triggered. And then I just started hooting and hollering and ranting and raving. And of course, I had to repent of it and ask God for forgiveness because I knew that it was pride. It was the trick or slash uh, fiery dart of the devil because you know he just goes around seeking whom he may devour and he, and he pounces <laughs> any time that he can and that was a moment that I was caught off guard because I did not have on the full armor of God and I was caught slipping. And God reminded me that, wait a minute, this battle is not your battle, but this battle is mine. So why are you behaving like this? You say that you love me, you say that you worship me, and I know that you do. But I've got people out here that need to see me in you. And when you behave like that, <laughs> you know, that's not drawing all men unto me. That's not helping me. That's helping yourself get into deeper trouble with me and then I'm like wow <sighs> mm. you know what good is shouting hallelujah and praise God and going to church every Sunday and getting up and put on your you know wearing your your Sunday best and you put on your well hello miss well no let me see let's make up a name well hello mrs um uh, mrs jennifer how are you today <laughs> may god bless you and yours to god be the glory <laughs> praise god well hallelujah what good is all of that if when the moment comes for you to be tested and that test may come in the form of a a fiery dart of the enemy to test you to just see how, for you to see because God already knows how you're going to react but he wants you to see how you're going to react because he already knows but he wants he wants to show you and he wants to for you to um i don't know what word am i looking for lord he wants you to reevaluate your own walk with him because it's so easy to you know, walk with the Lord and spend time with Him and read His Word and, like I said, do all that other stuff in Him. But what good is any of it if you don't practice right His holiness and His righteousness when you feel that your back is up against the wall? And at that time, my back wasn't even up against the wall. I just could not handle that my niceness didn't con 
control her because that's basically what it was control my niceness didn't control her into being more nice to me <laughs> but who am I you know what I'm saying if they spat upon Jesus Christ if they mocked Jesus Christ and he did absolutely no wrong he sinned not if you know he couldn't even just be innocent and not even I mean how can I say this he could not even be innocent and receive the honor from everyone in the whole wide world that he encountered or that saw him or that heard about him even though he was innocent he could not even just be a sinless person and receive the glory and the honor that he well deserved while he walked the face of this earth before he shed his innocent blood on the cross so who am I to think that because his word says that grievous words stirreth up anger but a soft answer turneth away wrath so who am I to think that even though that's true but just because I practice it who am I to to think that I'm so special that it's gonna you know it's gonna work in a time when God is testing me testing my faith testing my long suffering testing my patience in in him you know who am I to think that I'm so I'm somebody so special that as long as I say a kind word if somebody's cursing me out and I'm but I'm verbally saying very kind words and soft words who am I to think that I'm so special that they're going to honor me because I'm being so nice but his word is faithful and true so I'm not saying that that scripture is not true it's very faithful it's very true but God also says that the world first hated him and because we believe in him and he is our Lord and Savior that we are going to suffer those same suffers how can I say that we're, we're going to suffer the same things that Jesus suffered when he was here and he was a sinless man he was both God 100% God and 100% man um and the, 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 what I liked the, about that is that he was 100% God when he was here, you know? And he did not even get the honor and the glory that, like I said, he well deserved when he was here. <laughs> it's crazy. So who am I to think that I'm going to get have it better than he did? Just because I say a nice, kind word. Or I'm so nice when somebody's so mean. I'm sure that he admired that. Or maybe not even the word admired. But I'm, I'm sure that he, God acknowledged the kindness of my heart. But, again, he was testing me to show me how I am in times of testing. And at that time, I failed miserably. Miserably. Because I went to fight that battle. And it, it was a verbal battle. 
and, and it really it really wasn't a verbal battle because it was just me all by myself <laughs> the other party <laughs> was silent once I got started the other party became silent so then it was me all by myself again I failed miserably so my message today is that the battle is the Lord's try to remember that don't be stuck in a curse of um, forgetfulness remember Jesus because at that time everything happened so fast and all I could remember was oh no she didn't or oh no he didn't or you know what I'm saying all I could remember was my pride and how I wanted to show the world that you know what I'm saying I'm not the one but that was a misrepresentation of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ